Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Motion Designer from themotiondesigners.com and in today's lesson, I'll be showing you exactly how to create this shadow text animation in After Effects and we're starting it right now. Alright, select the text tool and type in your text. Go to the align and align it to the center of the composition. Select the text tool and pre-compose it. Control Shift and C on the keyboard and rename it to text and hit OK. Import the texture inside After Effects, drag and drop it and go inside the text composition by double clicking on it and drag and drop the texture inside the composition. Scale down the texture and select this track mat and change it to alpha mat and you can always reposition the texture and go to the effects and presets and type in curves and drag and drop the curves on the texture and give a little contrast on the texture all right going back to the main composition here we're going to animate the position of the text hit p on the keyboard to bring up the position make this a 3d layer and go forward a few frames maybe here set a keyframe go back to the first and push it towards the camera and select all the keyframes right click keyframe assistant easy ease and go to the graph editor and tweak the graph to something like this and make sure to turn on the motion blur for the layer and for the composition so that you have a motion blur hey now that you've come so far i encourage you to stick till the end of the video because we are going to shatter the text in the next step also if you haven't subscribed to the channel already i encourage you to subscribe to the channel and check out our website themotiondesigners.com where you can find project files and freebies and you can also download the project file of this tutorial as well so let's jump inside after effects and shadow the text all right select the text layer Control d to duplicate shut off the eye for the bottom layer hit u on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes and delete these keyframes and move this layer maybe half a second Go to the effects and presets and type in shatter and drop that shatter on the new duplicate layer that we've just created. All right, let's make some adjustment here. Change this to rendered and you can see what's going on here. Go to shape one and change this to glass and we don't want any depth so set it to zero now go to force one and let's animate the position of this force from left to right top to bottom that depends from which direction you want to shatter your text all right so for this instance let's go from top to bottom set a keyframe for the position and set this to here and go few frames forward and set this position to the bottom so it comes from the top to bottom all right what i'm gonna do next is increase this reputation so that we have more pieces all right once you've increased the reputation go to the depth and increase it to point maybe three zero and leave the settings like this for now all right, select the text layer, control D to duplicate it, shut off the eye for the bottom layer and grab the pen tool and draw a mask where you want to shatter the text. All right, hit M on the keyboard to bring up the mask, select the mask, control C to copy and go to the bottom layer and paste it there by hitting control V. Go and collapse this mask and change from add to subtract and turn back the eye on and turn off the shadow for the bottom text layer. All right, go to the shadow layer and go inside physics and we'll make an adjustment on the viscosity here. You can play around with these settings and choose what you like the most. All right, once you're happy with your viscosity settings, go and turn back on the first layer and trim the text layer here. All right, once you have trimmed that, let's go and adjust this shadow and go to the force one 
and play with this depth maybe decrease the depth so that it comes from top to bottom like this all right if you scrub the playhead and keep it at the point where these three layers joined here and if i shut off the mask you can see a line here the solution to that is go to the first layer collapse that go to the mask and go to the expansion and change from zero to one and that fixes that issue all right that's all i have for this time guys i hope you like this video and make sure to check out these two videos as well this has been motion designer and i will see you in my next video